Welcome to the Crunch Time YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a film analysis on Kellen Mond, who I think is the sixth best quarterback in the draft this year, and I think he'd be much higher and on more people's radars if it wasn't for this being probably the most talented quarterback class since the year five QBs went in the first round. Now, it's very likely in it is almost guaranteed five quarterbacks will go around one, but I think Kellen Mond is one of the more interesting quarterbacks just because he can be like a Dak Prescott for a team, but he's not a very known quarterback by many people. And you can get him in the second or third round and he can be a very impactful player. So let's get into the video now and why I like Kellen Mond so much. So this is the first play I'm going to be showing of Kellen Mond and this really demonstrates some of his best abilities and that is his quick release and his athleticism so let's look at the play so here we see the running back motioning and then the pressure gets to Kellen Mond and if we look carefully there's actually two guys but by the time they get there the ball's going to be out of Kellen Mond's hand he doesn't really get hit and then the running back they're able to get the six yards we need to convert the first down so Plays like that is why I'm a little higher on Kellen Mond. I think he does actually have potential. And I think he can be a Dak Prescott for a team. He can step in and he can be a good quarterback. So the next play here, we have a play that will demonstrate more of Kellen Mond's like deep accuracy, middle of the field more. And here's the route concept. So we have two tight ends on the left side of the field. And the main, the route that he's actually going to throw to is going on a deep corner route. And the other two wide receivers, one is going on a streak and one is going on a slant route. And the running back, it's going to be a play action pass. So he's going to help in protection. Cullen Monty takes the snap and he actually stands strong in a pocket, which I liked. And then he delivers the throw, and the best part of the throw is he adds a touch to it. So then the receiver is able to catch it inbounds. They get possession, and then they're able to put two feet in, and that's a catch. They're close to the end zone, and they do end up scoring a touchdown on this drive. So on this play, we will see Kellen Mond's ability to read defenses. The defense is running a man look on this play, and once Kellen Mond reads that, he's easily able to find which route is a man beater, and he delivers a strike for a touchdown. Here is the play. Kellen Mond, he'll take the snap here, and right now he's actually reading the cornerback guarding number zero, who will end up scoring a touchdown. We'll move back to this once you see the touchdown. So he's reading the leverage of number four and his wide receiver. As you know, the his player is running a zig route, so he's going to cut back outside. And he recognizes that the cornerback is not going to be able to stop him, so that's an easy play for a touchdown. And that's part of what why Kellen Mond is such a good quarterback. While I do think Kellen Mond is a good quarterback, he does have some weaknesses, and this is his arm talent. Now, he doesn't have the strongest arm, and he's not able to fit in all the throws. And we'll see on this play as he reads the defense, and he actually makes probably the right read, but he doesn't throw the pass in time. And since his arm isn't the strongest, he's just not able to fit it in in time. He passes it, and he should have thrown it probably two to three seconds earlier. The DB is able to read and react, and it's an easy interception for them. And a team like Alabama, when you play these good teams, you can't make mistakes like this. And these are the teams you're going to be playing in Venice. So here's another play that just shows Kellen Mond's strengths. When he's able to stand in the pocket strong, and he's able to deliver these good passes, as this pass was down the seam between the two safeties, that's what he's comfortable doing. If you just let him sit back there, deliver these passes, then he can be the quarterback that you want him to be. Now, one skill that Kellen Mond does possess that a lot of quarterbacks and especially rookies coming into the NFL do not possess is a good touch ball. Now even Justin Herbert last year that was not one of his strengths and you see Kellen Mond here he delivers a beautiful touch pass where only his wide receiver really has any shot at getting the ball. On this play we will see Kellen Mond use his eyes which will help him on this pass as he will take the linebacker out of a play and this helps op uh, open a hole in the defense where he's able to fit the ball for a big play. So here's the play. 
And look at Kellen Mond's eyes as he looks on the other side of the field before he delivers his pass. And if you see here, the linebacker tries to make a play on the ball, but since Kellen Mond used his eyes to trick the linebacker, he's not able to make a play, and he's able to deliver the pass to the wide receiver, fits it in a tight window, and he makes the catch. We're going to look at another play where Kellen Mond uses his eyes to trick the defense, and if you pay attention, the safety linebacker, where there is the red dashed line, we will see he will be so focused on Kellen Mond's eyes on the receiver going on the drag route that he won't even realize or think to cover a receiver going on the same ball. So we see the play here and pause right now. This is where we were at at the previous image that was shown and he uses his eyes, he reads the safety linebacker and he's able to, to fit the ball right in the seam where neither the linebacker or the other safety is able to get to him. So this clip is actually going to be one of the knocks on Kellen Mon, and for some reason he doesn't really like to step up in the pocket after he drops back unless he's trying to run the ball he doesn't really step up and this will be an issue here as you'll see He'll just take the ball, and for some reason, he won't step up or move away, and he almost throws an interception. The ball that should have been intercepted. Instead of here, easily just moving to his right, he just decides to throw a very bad ball, and don't even know who it was to. There's three people on defense there, two on offense. It really looks like it's to the safety more than it was to either of his wide receivers. Next. So here's the plane, and we see Florida. The blitz was executed perfectly as they got a free uh, rusher, and Mon throws a really inaccurate pass that he's lucky didn't get intercepted. He gets hit here, and he just didn't sense the pressure, and he's lucky that number three, the defensive back, was not able to react in time and get the interception. So that is one of his weaknesses, is he isn't able to sense pressure on time, and when he does, his decision making isn't always the best. This clip here will also will be looking at Kellen Mond's ability to sense pressure. That also is an issue on this play, his accuracy, ball placement, probably a little bit of touch is also an issue here. Now let's just roll the play, and you see he throws it here, but he has a lot of time, and the play hasn't even fully developed yet. You can't really see any of his three wide receivers on the screen. No one looks open. And it looks like he'll be having, he'll maybe have one to two more seconds to look at the defense, read his wide receivers. So it doesn't make a lot of sense why he throws it here. But also, you see here, the linebacker almost gets the interception. And there's two linebackers he has to throw the ball over or get the ball away from them to even hit his wide receiver for a shot to get the ball. And you see the safety coming through the back who had, could have had a shot to tip it or do anything. So it wasn't really the best decision there. Maybe he just thought the pressure was quick, arrived quicker than it actually did, but just the poor decision there by Kellen Mond. Wrapping up this video now, I'm just gonna give my pro comparison on Kellen Mond and a few of the landing spots that I think would be best for him. So the two main landing spots for him, in my opinion, are the Washington football team and the New England Patriots. Those would just be the best teams where they could use a quarterback and with his skill set, he'd actually complement their weapons very well. Now, the pro comparison for me is Dak Prescott. He reminds me a lot of Dak. Both had similar college film in a way. They needed some work done, but he definitely can step in and help your team. So... Thanks for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on Kellermont and make sure to like and subscribe.